I was hiding my fat and ugly wife from everyone because her appearance did not match my status. She's the perfect servant and caring wife, but that face and those fat legs. First, I forbade Betty from coming to my workspace and hired an actress to pretend to be my wife. Then, I created a second social media account for my colleagues and started publishing family photos on it with a pretty girl. You're a lucky guy, Ethan. Your wife is so hot. My plan was working perfectly until my boss I skipped to meet Betty in person. Bring her to the office party. Stop hiding your treasure from us. I told Betty that I would work late and went to the party with the actress. My fake wife impressed everyone with her intelligence and sense of humor. And my boss insisted on coming to our house. Our family should be friends. I sent Betty to a country spa for the weekend. And as soon as she left, I brought the actress home. Everything was going well. When suddenly... Honey, what's going on here? Smile and go to the other room. Now! Betty was so startled that she meekly obeyed. Did I hear her call you darling? <laughs> oh, that is Iron Maid. She has a drinking problem. Fortunately, the actress played alone and my boss believed it. I went to see Betty and decided to be proactive. You have to pretend to be Iron Maid. What? Why, dear? I'll be fired if you don't, now! Betty loved and trusted me, so she agreed. She served us all evening, and even endured mockery from my boss. <laughs> At first I thought she was your mistress, but you could find a much better woman. <laughs> I was on pins and needles all evening, but my boss didn't suspect a thing and left satisfied. Thanks for a wonderful dinner. I also consider hiring a prettier maid. When we were alone, Betty demanded an explanation. Who is this woman and what was going on here? I sincerely believed that Betty was the only one to blame for what happened, so I didn't pull any punches. You're so ugly that I had to hire an actress so I wouldn't be embarrassed in front of my boss. Either you apologize and tell your boss the truth or I'm leaving you forever. It was evident that my words hurt her as she was being serious. But the truth would disgrace me in front of the whole company. So I had to make a choice. I'm sorry, I won't risk my career for you. I was sure that my life wouldn't be better without Betty. But how wrong I was. The cunning actress demanded three times more money for each of our meetings. And I had to give her all my savings. After a few months, my efforts paid off. My boss made me his assistant for a new construction project. I'm sure you'll charm our wealthy client. However, during the project presentation, I froze in horror. Betty was the customer representative, and she looked so gorgeous that my boss didn't recognize her. We won't work with you. Why? Betty told my boss the whole truth about that evening. You are a bully, and your assistant is a superficial liar. 
You can change your appearance, but maliciousness remains forever. Such people don't match the principles of our company. After she left, I tried to justify myself, but my boss didn't even listen to me. He ruined everything. We're now bankrupt. Get out! The business community found out the reason for my dismissal, and I became the laughing stock of the whole city. Because of my lies, I lost a successful career, money, and most importantly, a beautiful wife who loved me. Don't judge someone based on their appearance. Looks can be deceiving.